Hello everybody, today I'm going to teach you how to create a Google Docs. As you see, I'm on a different tab besides Google. So, I'm going to, so I'm going to go to the address bar on the top. Then, I'm going to type www.google.com and that whole word is www.google.com and I'm going to press the enter button now as you see I'm on this page now I'm going to go to um, the menu button which is like a waffle which is next to the image on the top right hand corner I'm going to click it and as you see I ha I, ha I don't see the Google I mean, I mean the docs. So I'm going to scroll down to the next page. Now you see, I see the Google docs. So I'm going to click it. I'm going to left, I'm going to left click, left click it. And now I'm on this page. So, to start a new document, I'm going to press the pl plus sign button. And in the bottom, it says blank. So, I'm going to click it. Now, it popped up. That's good. Now, to, ti to, now to title your document, um, now it just says untitled document. We don't want that. We want, um, you could, um, you could click it and add whatever name you would like. But for me, for my title, I'm gonna put my story. Now I'm done with my, now I'm done doing my title. So, this size is a little small. So do you see this plus sign and minus sign up over here? I'm gonna click the plus sign to increase it. And I'm going to click the minus sign to decrease it. Or if you want like a higher font, like for 56, you could just go over here. And if you don't see 56, you could type it 56. No, it's this font. But for, I don't want it. I'm going to put about 17. That's the right font for me. Good. Now I have the font size. I'm going to, you see it's on the, um, um, left corner. I don't want that. To put in the middle, I go to the align area over here. And this is for the um, left align. This is for the center. So here, I'm on the left align. I'm going to click center. Now it came to the center, as you see. Then if I want it on the right, I click right. And if I want it on the justify, I click justify. But I want it in the center. And I'm going to type my story. There's some really cool features that I'm going to teach you today. For my story, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to click the B button, which makes it bold. And now it got thicker, which is good. And I'm going to make the italic one. And did you see before it's straight? But now it turned a little. Now I'm going to click the underline. So then before it's not underlined, now I'm underlining it. And there's two cool things that I like personally. Text color. I could change it to blue. I could change it to pink. I could change it to whatever color I want. For now, I'm sticking to black. And there's also a highlight color. I could highlight to purple, which is going to highlight everything, not the... Um, not the text color, the highlight. And I'm going to put yellow to make it bold. Now I'm going to click enter. You see it's like this. I don't want them. I'm going to take the bold. I'm going to click the bold button, the B button, then the I button, then the underline U button. Now I'm going to move to, um, it to the left. And then I'm going to type... Um, today. What 
This is a really common mistake. You forgot to unhighlight it. So I hit the highlight um, color and you put none. So um, if it still doesn't work, then highlight, highlight the none by um, left clicking it and dragging it um, to the word today and click none. Now it went. So another cool feature is um, Arial. You see, it's the font. I'm gonna click it and I can go down. For example, there's a ton of this. If I put this, it turns like um, cursive. And then if I put this, it turns another um, font. There's tons of fonts for you to do. But for me, I'm just sticking to Arial. There's also another really cool feature I like. I could link this word. So next to the highlight button, there's this link. I'm gonna click the link, insert link. And then I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna put like whatever site I want, I'm gonna highlight that. And then I'm gonna put, um, and I'm going to click Control C and Control V. Or on a Mac, I, um, you would click Command C and Command V. So, after you do that, you highlight it and you put insert link. You put Control um, V or Command V. And then you click Apply over here. So, those are all of the cool features I have for today. I hope you like my video. Please hit the subscribe button and the like button. Bye.